Hi cuties, welcome to Daily Dose. That was a busy day for me today. Whew, I just now have a moment to myself and it's almost a quarter to a nine. Almost right now. Hooray! So, anyways, I had my last classes today. I took a lot of pictures with my students. Um, tomorrow is the final ceremony and giant cleaning time, which I'm not really looking forward to. Because cleaning time, that is something I will not miss at all. Um, but I also have to give a speech in Japanese. This is my speech I wrote. If you want to hear it, I'm going to read it to you anyways. I need some practice. So it's not going to be memorized because it's just long and I only just finished everything today. And my supervisor checked it and we fixed some bits that weren't very natural because I'm not completely fluent in Japanese. Making a speech is really hard in Japanese. So, I'm going to read you it. And then I'll tell you what it means afterwards. So, this will be a guessing game. Guess what I'm saying. Are you ready? I hope this isn't really, really boring for you guys. So, here we go. Kokono kite... I just messed it up right from bad. I said kokono. Kokoni. Kokoni kite sanen ga tatta to wa ちょっと信じられないですね。時間がすごく早かった。まだこの中学校に初めて来た日のことを覚えています。とても緊張していたし、日本の教育についてあんまりわかりませんでした。皆さんを笑顔にさせようと一生懸命でした。笑顔って
You've given me a lot of happiness, and I hope that I have given you happiness as well. If I did make you smile just once, I'm happy again. We might not ever meet again, but if you ever want to see my face, there's always YouTube. And to each and every one of you, I'm grateful. I'll be going home, and I'll even uh, when I go home, I'll miss you all. And think and the the last three years here have been the best three years of my life. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much. Don't forget to smile. I know I wanted to say don't forget to be awesome, but they're not going to understand that. So that's my speech that I have to now get to a point where I'm not fumbling over my words because I keep doing that. <laughs> it's hard. Okay, guys, it's really hard. Other news, uh, my old supervisor came today and she gave me stuff, but I... Ugh. She gave me these really cute chopsticks and a bowl. Well, not a bowl, it's more like a soup cup bowl thing. So these are the beautiful chopsticks. Check them out. Aren't they beautiful? I don't want to use them to eat. I'm going to put them in my hair, probably. They're cute for the hair. Um, the bowl is actually in a box, so it's mm -hmm. kind of hard to get it out. Because it's in one of those funky boxes. So I want to show you the bowl. But those are the chopsticks she gave me. And she brought her baby. And baby did not want to be held by anyone but mommy. And later on me, after she got... We were playing around and stuff. She's only a, a year and a, three months old. So, yeah. So... Tomorrow, man. Tomorrow is the last day of everything, and then I'm done with school, and everything else is just getting out, moving out, and getting move and getting my videos done. So there's a new video today. Uh, remember Tom, who was in a, a Daily Dose a while back on the guitar? He was just here, but we had to like pound out some music right now to get this music that we've been working on together, secret project music together. Uh, hopefully, we got a decent recording of it. I'm gonna have to do a lot of work. Hopefully. <laughs> Making a music video is hard, guys. I just told you the secret, didn't I? Oh, well. So it's a music video. But I'm not going to tell you what it's about. So we're making a music. Obviously, I mean, he's making music with me. I don't think it was that hard to figure it out, actually. But I'll keep the contents down. But I'm trying to get people to be in the video. And that's the difficult part, is getting actors who are not even actors and just people to show up and do stuff. It's really, really hard. This video is really, really long now, so I'm probably going to go. Question of the day is, what did you think of my speech? Don't I suck really bad? I suck really bad. I'm going to get nervous. I'm going to cry. I'll tell you if I cry. Here's That's the question. Do you think I'm going to cry? Do you think I can hold it? Hold in my tears at the assembly tomorrow and not cry? Or will I just break down and cry? Will I just be like, Kokonichite sunning at that? Like that? Or will I have, you know, balls of steel and not cry? Maybe make my students cry. Who do you think is going to cry first? There we go, because I'm probably going to cry. So who do you think is going to cry first, me or my students? There you go. Okay, bye!